Good morning and welcome to my F250 1959. What will we be doing today? Roof lining. I've always wanted to do that. There's, there's a woman on uh, YouTube um, or wherever, Instagram, whatever it is, and she's like, uh, she buys clothing that models wear. She's not a fat woman or anything, and she was like, Ooh, hoo, hoo, look at this, Ooh, I can't believe I've done it. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. And she opens it, and then, you know, three minutes into it, she opens the door, and she comes out hiding the flange or boobs, whatever's hanging out. You can't do this with this, can you? <laughs> I watch some crap, don't I? Too much time ahead. Anyway, this is silver. I've got two meters. I have not done this before. I'll be honest with you. So, to me, oh, it is that colour. Huh. Oh, I don't know what I expected. Okay, nice roof lining. Two meters by two meters. I got inside the cab is a lot smaller than that. Now, I had three options. One, and I'll show you in a second, it's got a middle bar. I was going to glue, spray, I've got uh, adhesive spray. I bought many cans. Yeah. I'm going to leave it in a car stereo as well. Um, but I, I think I'm going to go classic and not modern. Anyway, I digress, as I always do in my videos, so get used to it. Option one, spray the middle beam, spray that, clip it to one side, push it up, and then spray and then work out. Option two, clip it to the side and go across this way, over the beam, and around that way. Or option three, cut a small piece, glue it already, so you, you know, you, you prime both sides, push it to the top, then feed it through the middle, the whole sheet, and then work out. I can hear some of you screaming at the screen, blah, but it doesn't matter, because I've already done it. I'm going for option three. So I'm gonna cut a small sliver, I'm gonna go over the beam, then I'm gonna thread it through, spray, and push out with my hands. Best thing in the world to use is your hands. You can get all these rollers and stuff, but I'm gonna use my hands. See how it works, let's look inside. We have to get loose to Millie. This is her. I've just washed her, funny enough, and she's eating a chewy stick, which she always does. We're going to start under here soon. Oh, it's a bit dark. So, inside the cabin, I'm going to get some light in here as well. This is what we're talking about. I'm going to do that beam first, then thread it through the top, and then work my way out. And then whatever's spare, I'll do the trims. Got to sort how cold it is in here. That's going to come out. We're going to carpet or we'll clean the floor and carpet. I'm also going to spray the petrol tank. That's the colour carpet I got. It's a nice hard wearing carpet. And here's the seat, in case you're wondering. I'm also going to cover this seat. That is what was covering it. I don't want that. And here we go. The um, workout is just where the screw, the bolts are for this. There's six in there. But this is it. Now, I don't know whether to take this off and then put the new flocks on top or just put this on top of this. Again, another video. And then, we're gonna get in here. I said, I think that's a good idea. Open windows, make sure it's ventilated. Always make sure you ventilate. This stuff is a bit smelly and we'll get you high. But not a nice high, a headache high. So let's not do that. Speakers look still horrible, gonna sort them out. I'm going for a classic radio and I'm gonna put it in there. Cut it actually in there rather than, I think at present minute, there's a thing in there. Uh, we'll open it all up anyway. And we're gonna make it a nice place to be in here. Still vintage, but a nice modern place to be. Properly carpet. The last person, you can see I just had that horrible carpet there and just slapped it on, it, it, it was horrible. So I'm gonna make a nice job, I'm gonna glue it down as well. Bought many cans, four cans, and I think I've got half a can somewhere else. I'm gonna do a really good job of this. So, prep work. I've put some cardboard, <coughs> I've put some cardboard for the excess spray. I have the sliver ready, and external lights, and now we can see inside this cab. It is pretty, 
all the clocks. We'll go through that another day. Got another of them coming because that's cracked and drove mad. But there we go. It's sort of in a family. It's an old stock car. Just in case one of you are asking what that was. I used to cut cloth. And my granddad, Charles Levy, he actually used to uh, sell foam in Montford Market many, many years ago with mum. So uh, it's in the family. Let's see if it's in the blood and we can get this done, shall we? Part one. That went really, really, really well. This piece, and this is how I've done it. Big bit of cardboards. Because remember, this is sticky spray, and if you get it everywhere, it's just going to end up in your feet. And well, I'm going to have it on my hands, but that will come off. So that is 80 by 105. This area is 80 by 100. Well, it's not 80. It's 70 odd by 90 odd. But obviously, I want to tuck it right in. And uh, I want to spray that side first. I want to spray that halfway, push it in underneath, and let's see what happens. I've used about half a can. Are you ready? What do you think? Now I've got a bit of cardboard there to stop it from going anywhere else. I'm going to spray this, the top bit, but all in, not looking too bad. So I say proof is in the pudding, and was it in my jeans? Well, that's what I've got left over, uh, two metres square. Let's have a look. Cue the music. Well, I can't, but anyway. What do you reckon? Done them little bits over there like that. Uh, done the centre bit separate. There is no stretch marks on it everywhere. And then did these bits here like that as well. Seat goes here, so that's okay. But all in. I think that's not a bad job. Happy days. This is so easy to work with. It stretches nicely, folds around nicely, gets sticky fingers. No sense of putting gloves on, they would have stuck together everywhere. Just get tack off over a couple of days, it will come off, I'm sure. But I am very impressed. So, thank you so much for watching my Ford F250 project. Um, yeah, I don't know what to call it really. Say resurrection, reconstruction, uh, rest restoration. Ha <laughs> ha! Restoration. Um, we'll be doing the mirrors and we're doing, we're doing loads of this. Stay with me for the next episode. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.